Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back today. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. And if you guys are, I hope this video can brighten up your day just a little bit more. Today we're back on how to make an elite weapon where today we are covering the more sniper rifle. Which one am I covering? I don't know. Actually, I do know. Why am I asking stupid questions? You guys obviously know I am covering the doctor. And this request, uh, this video was requested by Obi Reapy. Uh, sorry for not pronouncing your name. He also asked, "What's my Twitter?" It's in the description. You guys do not know. But anyways, he essentially says, "Can you make the Morse Doctor or the Morse Silver Bullet?" And there's a big reason why I'm not doing the Silver Bullet. If you guys look on the screen right now. There is a big reason right there. You guys should be able to see it. Not that hard. The arrows should help you. That right there is the biggest reason why you guys should not use silver bullet silver bullet overhyped if you guys get it, it it's okay to use it's got a badass camo that no other gun has but that fire is gonna kill you it's gonna it's it's the lowest shooting sniper of all the moors variants any other variant is uh faster at shooting and damage isn't damage on the body that's a big misconception misconception with snipers uh so yeah silver bullet not good at all camo makes it worth it but yeah Anyways, today we are covering the doctor. The doctor's stats are as read, damage, minus one, accuracy, minus one, fire rate, plus two, handling, plus one, and mobility, minus one. Now, what do these stats mean exactly? Uh, the damage, damage as I mentioned before, damage is not how much damage your bullet actually does to a person. It is wall penetration of all things. If you think about it, it makes sense, but... Uh, you know, misleading stats are uh, kind of a big deal with a lot of the weapons that aren't fully automatic. Anyways, yes, you, uh, I can't think of in instances on maps where you'd be shooting through stuff. This isn't like Studio Black Ops 2 where you'd shoot through the cardboard and stuff like that. Uh, this weapon has none of that. People aren't gonna be high, or people aren't gonna be head glitching that much, you know, the exo suit and everything. So, you guys shouldn't worry about this at all. And any damage increasing or minus shouldn't make you guys use a Moors. It, it's basically the fire. Uh, the accuracy that is the idle sway. The idle sway is when you're aiming down sights and you're idle. Your, uh, your sights naturally move around a bit. And um, the minus accuracy makes it, I think, ten, make it move 10% more. And that's, mm, I, I wouldn't say that's a problem. It's definitely handleable. You guys will, you guys will notice it, but it's not really a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I definitely think the fire rate increase is, uh, it makes it worth it. Uh, but yeah, that's not that bad. You, you guys will notice it, but it's, it's really controllable. And the mobility, mobility, it has. No effect on snipers. I've been to a lot of forums and posts. The drifter couldn't figure out either. Mobility. It's not ADS time. That'd be a really, really OP if that was um, if that was the case because you'd be um, aiming down sights more or less. Uh, but mobility does nothing, I suppose. And the same thing for handling. Handling. It. I'm pretty sure it does something on forums. I see it. It's um, but I I don't know what it is exactly, and I've tested the Moore's normal one and the Doctor a lot, and I honestly do not know what mobility is or handling. Sorry to disappoint you guys. If it's something really obvious, please leave it in the description. I'll put it in annotation or edit it in description later on. So yeah, that's basically those things. Now the fire rate, fire rate is increased by two. That's that that's really good. That's the only Moore's that does that, which uh, in people's minds make it a really good variant but that second increase in fire rate that is a big fat lie so the regular moors first of all it shoots at 47 rounds per minute that's okay for a sniper um you guys wouldn't be expecting more probably this is about average if you get anything less then that's pretty bad but the doctor it only increases it to 51 RPM. That's only four more bullets. So you guys can obviously notice the chamber reload faster by a by a fraction of a second. But a fraction of a second means a lot in Call of Duty. And with the two increasing in fire, I thought it would double, but no, that is not the case. Um, the quick bolt and the pummeler have one increasing in fire rate, and those in those guns. 
they they reload the the bullet into the chamber the same amount of times i was really surprised by this i have the doctor if you guys didn't see the video where i got the doctor live please check that out but anyways yeah i do have the doctor and then um, i just ripped my hair out trying to get the pummeler because i'm not a sniper but i have both the pummeler and the doctor and i tested them both back to back and i noticed no differences in the fire rate now as you guys can see on the screen right now I'm shooting 10 bullets without stopping basically my finger on the trigger with both the doctor and the pummeler and as you guys can see they're relatively the same you guys might have that sort of placebo effect on your mind where you guys where you guys are telling your brain or your brain telling your eyes that they shoot the same but right now I'm putting them both on top of each other making the opacity 50% so you can see both of them and they shoot the exact same um, I, 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 I lined it as best as I could um, Sony Vegas Sony Vegas didn't let me align them exactly they're like one one hundredth of a second off but essentially they're the same you guys can see they both shoot two bullets or on the screen they, it doesn't shoot two bullets but on the screen because they're on top of each other they're reloading into the chamber the exact same now that right there basically debunks the whole firing plus two on the doctor. That is a big lie. It's not. It's it's, it's just firing plus one. I don't know why they felt the need to add firing plus two. They wanted to be misleading. I don't know. A lot of these guns are misleading. That's why you guys need some of these videos like this, so it, it could show you guys exactly what the stats do. But anyways, if you guys want the Moors, the doctor, it's not a bad bring it by any means. It's actually really good. It, it might be the best Moors, but. If you guys want the doctor, there is an easy, insanely easy way. I was laughing my ass off when I found out that the doctor is basically the 300 kill marksman weapon. Yes, just get 300 kills with the Moors and you get the Moors Pummeler. The Moors Pummeler, you get one deduction in damage, one deduction in accuracy, one increase in firing, and one increase in handling. That is the exact same on the doctor. If you guys see on the screen, I'm comparing both of them. The only difference is that the doctor has the less that that one drop of mobility and that one more increase in fire rate. And as we just found out right now, that increase in fire rate is fake, just right there for aesthetic effects. I don't know what the fuck it's there for. And mobility does nothing. Even the world's greatest people are trying to figure out the stats of every single Call of Duty, they can't figure it out. So it's exactly the same. If you guys do the testing. So do not take out the the pummeler just because it has that deduction damage. That's not damage by any means. It is exactly the same as the Moors. Now there is exactly like one more way to get the Moors a doctor, and it's and it's everything everyone's going for the quick bolt. The quick bolt has all it's enlisted. It only has that one increase in fire rate and that one deduction mobility. Mobility does nothing, as we covered to death in this episode. So it's basically just better fire rate. So. If you guys don't want the doctor, and I can't blame you guys because it's just lies pretty much. It's not bad, but just lies. Then you guys should go for the quick bolt. It, but you guys do have a better chance of getting the quick bolt. So um, I can't tell you guys. You guys might as well stick with the pummeler for now. And hopefully just pray every night to baby God Jesus that you guys do get the quick bolt. Now for attachments, there isn't really any attachments necessary for this. There are two attachments that make you ADS just a couple of milliseconds faster if you guys are interested in that. The ACOG and the Iron Sights. For some odd reason, not odd reason, it's, 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 it's Call of Duty logic. When, if you run the ACOG or the Iron Sights, you guys do ADS faster. So, that's, so those are the only attachments I recommend. Stock is also pretty useful on a sniper, any sniper. So... ACOG stock or iron sights and the stock. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to drop a like down below. Today our goal for likes is 5 likes. And please don't forget to subscribe for more how to make elite weapons. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.